All right, so welcome to my video on how to use your MIDI keyboard with faders and knobs as a uh, control surface in your flight simulator. Um, information on this has been a little bit hard to find for me personally, which is why I felt like making this video. Um, so there's a couple of things you're going to keep in mind. First of all, this post, uh, I'll put a link in the description, has been really helpful for me, but it was also made 11 years ago. So uh, the two programs you're going to need to download are kind of hard to find. Uh, neither of these links work anymore. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them on a Google Drive because I honestly can't remember where I downloaded them from. And I tried to find them before I made this video, but uh, they're not easy to find. But these are the two. I'm pretty sure they're the most up-to-date versions of these two softwares. Uh, you could call them deprecated, you know, if you really wanted to because... Uh, they haven't been updated in a long time, but they still work. Um, so you're going to have GlovePy and PPJoy set up. Um, like it says, install PPJoy first. So if we want to download and install PPJoy first, we'll just go here, uh, download it. No viruses. And we'll download GlovePy as well. Okay, there's PPJoy. And you're just going to run this, you know, extract it, run it. Here's PPJoy. Yes. Next, whatever. Uh, and this is where it's going to install it. <clears throat> now, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to go all the way through the process, but... That's your PPJoy setup, um, and basically once you've got it installed, you're going to want to go to Configure Joysticks, which you can find PPJoy, Configure Joysticks, and uh, you're not going to have any, so you want to add one, and once you add one, it's going to ask you to make a map for it, and the maximum buttons you can do is 32, but I went with 16, and same with you know faders or axes, you can only have 8. Uh, no POV hats because this is a MIDI keyboard and not a, you know, controller. Uh, next, so this is your X zero, Y is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for your eight sliders, and then your buttons here, zero up to fifteen. Next, finish. Uh, and the reason I have two is because in addition to my eight faders, my MIDI keyboard has knobs. So to use my knobs, since we're limited to eight per joystick, I can go and have another joystick. And we're going to have eight knobs, and I'm not worried about the buttons. Uh, eight is fine for the buttons. So yeah, same thing. We've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But this is on joystick two. So go through next, whatever. Well, these are the buttons, right? It's all fine. <clears throat> so now this is our joysticks all set up. And once you've downloaded GlovePy, you will open it up. Um, it basically looks like this. And uh, let's see, I forget where did I install it to. I think you can put it. I think you can just drop it right into your uh, yeah C program files x86. Make a folder called GlovePy, and just drop it in there. Drop all of this into that folder. Uh, that's how you can do that. But like I said, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that step for you. But, you know, you would select all this and drive, you know, drag it over to your glove pie folder. Um, I made a shortcut for it on the desktop there. And now before you can open glove pie and actually use it, this is an important step. You actually have to go into test mode. So, again, I mean, it's a little convoluted, but all you have to do is... Go and Google it, right? It's going to be called Test Signing On. And if you Google it, what you'll find is that you're going to put this command in. You can do it in PowerShell. Make sure you run it as admin. And you just go through bcdedit.exe. We're going to set Test Signing On. Right, completed successfully, no problem. You will have to restart your computer. And if you're having more trouble with this, uh, 
if it's just not turning on for you, you're going to want to kind of read up on it because there are some BIOS settings that you might have to change. Secure boot policy specifically. Um, so if you go through and, you know, this happens to be for a completely different use case, but you do need to turn off secure boot in your BIOS. Um, and this is a lot of hoops to jump through to get this to work. But for me, it's worth it because uh, I don't actually have a joystick and I don't have a throttle quadrant, but I spent all this money on a keyboard, so why would I not use the faders that it came with? So once you've installed GlovePie and you've gone into test mode and you've restarted your computer, you can go through and this forum post here, it actually talks a lot about why the math works out, but the format is basically this, right? PPJoy1, so that's joystick1, dot analog0, which is axis number one, equals, parentheses, parentheses, MIDI0, which translates to MIDI uh, A1 is the uh, what the zero is. The zero is saying that's channel A1, dot, continuous control, one, in parentheses, multiply by two, in parentheses, minus one. Um, so that's the format of it. So if we go through and we open up GlovePy, I've got a script here. And you set your debug to whatever you want it to be. In my case, I've set it to this one. Why don't we change our debug to be like the other ones and say PP joy dot analog zero. Okay, so that's going to be our debug. Uh, PP joy one. Okay, so now we've got our debug set up to be that we can look at it. So when we run the script, it'll give us our debug information over here. But I'm going to try to go through this as simply as I can. Um, it's basically going to be uh, that format for every fader and knob or button that you want to use with your games. So it gets a little convoluted, like I said. I don't even think that I'm using all these buttons. I definitely don't have a use for, you know, 33 buttons. Uh, nonetheless, they are here. I'll copy this script. I think I found this script right here, I think. Somewhere. I, I definitely, I mean, you can download uh, this guy's script, or you can copy it from the uh, from the forum post. But it basically works the same way, you know, whether you copy it and change the CC numbers, which is what I did, or you can actually go through and type it all out. But this uh, post makes it really easy to just go through and copy because he's got PPJoy1, Analog0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, which actually you can't use more than eight axes, right? So you kind of have to stop after seven and then go to your next joystick, so this, this post is kind of outdated in that way because uh, PPJoy will only let you add eight axes per joystick, which is why I went through and did two for my knobs, right? Uh, okay, getting a little sidetracked here. Basically, it works like this. So PPJoy joystick one dot analog zero, which is axis number one, or your x-axis, equals MIDI channel a1.cc18. And the reason it's 18 for me is, so I can go through and look on my keyboard. And when I go on my keyboard and I move a fader, it tells me which CC number it is. So this one, that's number 18. This first one here is number 18. And so you have to go through and move all the faders and see uh, which CC number they are, or optionally, you can go through and change the CC number and just count up, you know, CC 1, 2, 3. In your script, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then it's a little easier that way. Um, it's up to you, but my faders work out to be this one's 18, the next one's 21, the next one's 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, which is the same thing as it says on the script. So put it in the little formula here and uh, if we run the script 
ideally, okay, when you move the fader, our debug number changes, which is exactly what we want. So I've got debug set to that fader, to that fader, and to this knob. And as we can see, they all work as they should. And now our game is ready to receive this information. So if we go through, we can minimize glove pie to the tray. We can close the forum out here. And let's say we want to run X-Plane. So I'll come back when X-Plane is loaded up. All right, ideally, here we are in X-Plane. Got my sound turned all the way down so you can still hear me. Hopefully that works the way I want. I might overdub this otherwise. But so here we are in X-Plane. I've got my plane loaded up. My frame rate is terrible because I'm also recording. Um, but this is the way it's going to show up, in this case, in X-Plane. So we've got three uninitialized controllers. Uh, this one is my Xbox controller. So I've already mapped it to uh, about what I want it to be, right? I've got my joystick here. I got my yaw on the triggers, okay? This is, you know, I got my pitch trim as the hat switch. I've got, you know, fire guns there. I, it just depends, uh, you know, which profile you want to use. You can make a new one for every plane like I've done, or you can just kind of use the same one, general. Right, and it says it needs to be calibrated. So we'll go through, you kind of have to guess which one is which. But this one happens to be my fader. So I'm moving the fader on my uh, my keyboard. My immediate moving the throttle. And then the next fader, I set it to mixture. And then the next one is prop, flaps, landing gear is that one. Um, probably take trim off since it's going to be on my Xbox controller. It's kind of a... a it's kind of a, always a work in progress, right? You can always, you know, here's my buttons on my MIDI keyboard. I've got them set to all those different things. You can go through and change them to what you want them to be. And then my next, you know, controller, right, is actually just the knobs on my keyboard. But again, this is always a work in progress because in X-Plane, I actually don't find uh, trim is a useful thing to have the knobs to be. So... If you're playing a game like DCS World, on the other hand, you can actually map these knobs to the light switches, you know, or, or stuff like that. It really, the, the sky's the limit with, uh, pun intended, the sky's the limit with these knobs. Uh, but if we go back in here, we want to map this one to throttle, and we do need to reverse it, I think. And so when we are done, you should see when I push my throttle up, that the throttle goes up, right? And my brakes are on, so that's why we're not moving. Um, but if we go in here, this is actually my Xbox controller. So I'll just set pitch to that, and I'll set roll to that. Okay. And then uh, this will be yaw. So ultimately, so now we can actually fly the thing. If we push our throttle up, turn our brakes off. Uh, oh, there we go. No. I better set that to something. Let's say start button is going to be max brakes. Yeah, like I said, it's it's really always a work in progress. Uh, but once you get it about the way you want it, you can uh, you can stop messing with it and just use it. But I don't actually fly this plane very much, uh, so I don't really have a. a a map set up for this plane. But if we go through and turn our brakes off. Now we can actually move. And I forgot to reverse my yaw axis as well, so I'm yawing in the opposite direction of what's actually happening, but it's fine. We can go through and take off. You can set your flaps. You can set all of the uh, the sliders to be what you want. But, like I said, in this case, I don't really have this plane mapped out very well. Uh, but I'm not really too worried about demonstrating uh, <laughs> the actual experience. Uh, this is really just to show you that, you know, you can play X-Plane with a MIDI keyboard and an Xbox controller, right? You don't have to have a joystick with a throttle quadrant and all the uh, fancy stuff that people like to use. 
We got some power flying. Got my throttle here. Got my mixture there. Yeah, so there we got flaps here. We can set our flaps down and try to land. I'm also holding a microphone. So uh, it might be a little hard to land with this microphone in my hand. Let's do one of these. Give ourselves some vertigo and see if we can't land. Um, just over this guy. There we go. Oh, my yaw is back on still. Okay. <laughs> R.I.P. Well, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Listen to me on Spotify, etc., etc.